Hey folks, uh, Stephen from LOJ here again. I uh, just wanted to give you another update on the project Carl Marrow. Um, today, John from PSI Conversions was here and we were working together to evaluate the prototype for their 24X Builders Harness. Uh, this is a new product they plan to release this spring and uh, I spoke to it a little bit in the first intro video to this vlog, but essentially um, it's a package of different pigtails to put together your own harness and configure it however you want. So essentially you'll get the connectors for whatever sensor you need to connect plus 15 feet of wire and you can plug in all your sensors and then route the wire where you want. So um, on the Carl Marrow we used the prototype here. Uh, John was here for about three hours and we got the amount of work that you see here done. So the whole harness is roughed in. Um, what we did as best as we could was hide every wire for every sensor um, possible. Now with the injectors we ran up to the back side of the fuel rails and uh, running the injectors to the back of the intake manifold. Um, that'll probably be the most visible wiring besides what's here on the TPS. Um, we ran the TPS and IAC wires down behind the water pump along the side of the motor to the back. Obviously the coils are relocated down low here. That's also running along the side to the back. The uh, alternator wires and uh, coolant temp sensor wires run down along in the same bundle all the way to the back of the engine. On the other side, it's the same deal. Coils run along the other side, and uh, the crank sensor joins into that bundle towards the back of the engine. Um, you can see along the bottom, uh, the coil wires just don't shoot straight back between all the spark plug wires. But they actually go around them. And uh, the reason being is that if you run the coil wires through the spark plug wires, you can get some electrical interference. Uh, so by running it around the side and keeping the uh, EFI wires separated from the uh, spark plug wires, you reduce the chances for interference in your ignition system. Uh, besides that, um, that's about where we got today. Uh, pretty happy with the product. Um, definitely have some good feedback. Um, John's going to go back and revise the drawings, make some changes. Um, and we're working together to try to get some basic instructions put together. Uh, again, this is a product that's for more of an um, experienced builder that knows how to uh, wire a car ready, but this takes a lot of the work out rather than having to purchase every connector and wire individually, crimp them and all. It's already half the work's done. And uh, it really simplifies the job for a guy like me. Um, so I'm excited about it. And uh, like I said, there's uh, obviously a lot more work to do here. Uh, John will be back next week. We're going to try to get the engine bay portion of this harness loomed up. And then we're going to run it into the car, figure out where we want to mount the PCM, start crimping terminals there. Uh, so I think we'll probably have a few more updates on this harness uh, in the coming weeks and more updates on the car just in general. So thanks. Uh, take care. All right.